I told you we had something funny going on and here it comes. They say that a dog is man's best friend and my next guest has certainly taken that notion to the extreme. She recently organized a special occasion which saw her beloved pet pooch marry another dog. Seriously, in a ceremony that cost over 20,000 pounds sterling. So to give us some answers to the many, many questions that raises, would you welcome please Louise Harris and her dog Lola. <laughs> Well, <laughs> how is Lola doing? She looks terrified. Yeah, I think it might be the, uh, the band over there. Okay, well, they've quietened, quietened her down. Yeah. So, wh why would anyone want their dog to be married? Um, it wasn't so much as, as the ceremony. It was more about actually just giving her a friend for life. I yeah. have other dogs, and she was really left out. So it was more about giving her a... Oh, oh she really is shaky oh. mac shake. No, that's better now. That's just that's feeling better. How, how, how does she meet her husband? Um, we actually... <laughs> oh, don't laugh. This is serious. <laughs> how, did the, how did the handsome couple meet? Oh, poor Mugly. Go on, tell us how um, we actually launched. Poor Mugly. We actually launched a, um, a competition, in a sense, or a search via our Facebook and our website, and um, we had hundreds of applicants. Absolutely hundreds. How did you decide on Mugly? Um, we, we whittled it down to the, fi the final six, and they all went on dates. How, <laughs> how does it... Well, I mean, how does a dog date a dog? I mean, how does that work? Lola, Lola's very, very temperamental. She's, yeah. she's a real diva. Um, she doesn't get on very well with other dogs. Um, and it was really a case of just letting her go and have, you know, dates in the park, play dates and things like that. And Mugly was the one that she chose. And what was it? Was it a chemical att uh, attraction? Was it was a great chemistry between I'm them? I'm not sure if it was physical. No. No. We'll talk about puppies in a minute, but we'll, we'll just say, <laughs> what sort of planning went into the wedding, Louise? A lot of planning, a hell of a lot of planning. Um, I actually employed a wedding planner. Of course she did. <laughs> <laughs> OK, and what did the wedding plan planner you know, it, it was crazy. Advice. It was, it was probably, it was probably as orchestrated and constructed as a human wedding. You know, we had sit-down meals. We had a doggy doggy crash for the dogs to look after them. We had special doggy chocolate fountains uh, shipped in. It was a real, real big affair. We had probably about eighty guests. Eighty guests. And what was the ratio of um, of dog to human? Um, probably about 50 guests, about 30 dogs. 30 dogs. Yeah. So wh how do you organise a venue that would be so friendly to dogs and other things like you that? You do lots of research and you actually explain to them on the phone that it's for a dog to get married and then they all go... What? Silence. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you, so you're, you're, like, you're, you're savvy enough to know that it's... That oh it's, gosh, a, it's, a, it's a kind yeah. of peculiar thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, in the United States of America, it's, it's, not, it's not strange. It's not strange at all. Um, Lola inspired me to set up my business and she's given me so much in my life that I wanted it to be more of a celebration of her life, not really a legal marriage. OK. Um, this, this, is a, this isn't... That's my other dog. That's, and he was the best man, was he? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and what's that dog's name? His name's Larry. And Larry was best man. And who's Larry's... Who's the that's bird? Lola. That's, oh, that's Lola. Lola. OK, so... There's no, there's no shenanigans there. Oh, no, 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 no. Brother um, and sister. Oh, sorry, well, thank God. No. It's getting weird then. Yeah. Um, uh, the wedding itself, mm -hmm. you had about uh, 80 guests or thereabouts. What did the dogs eat at the wedding? Like, how, how did they... How, was, how were they... How were they looked after, the 40 dogs? Um, we had people that looked after them. There was about four dogs to every one handler. OK. So um, there was people that would look after them if they needed to go for a walk, needed drinks, needed anything like that. OK. But, you can get gourmet treats and things like that like what? from um, liver cakes, you know, um, little cupcakes made out of um, peanut butter, 
They had all like little delicacies and okay. things like that. And then obviously the ceremony, did, I mean, is there an aisle? Is there a handing over? Is there... there was kind of an aisle, yes. And there was a vicar standing at the end of the aisle. <laughs> <laughs> of course there was. Of course. Um, is the vicar a particular, obviously a dog lover, a, a, what, what sort of a ceremony or what does the vicar say or do? Um, she had um, some vows that, that were written out already, so they were quite standard vows. You know, do you take this dog to be? Apparently, they wanted to say the word bitch. Do you take this bitch to be your life? Yeah. <laughs> I had to draw the line there. That would just be a bit... Just inappropriate? Yeah, totally. Um, bizarrely enough, again. Um, now, do, <laughs> do they go on a honeymoon? Like, what, what, how, how far does this go? Um... Well, yeah, they, they did actually go on a honeymoon. It was Mugley's choice, and they went to uh, Brighton. Well, Mugley's a classy boy, isn't he? Totally. She, she married a, a good'un. Didn't she, though? <laughs> uh, do they live together? I mean, are they...? No. Oh, oh, right, OK. Why not? Um, because if, if we was going to do that, we would probably have, have just had another dog, but it was really a case of them spending quality time just now and again so I could let him go home. OK. And so the, the, the wedding day itself obviously was, was a great day. Yes. Uh, did, you, did you hire, did you have a wedding car? Did you...? Yes, we had a Bentley. OK. Did you have uh, hair and makeup for the dogs? I had hair and makeup well and done. she had diamantes put in her hair. Yeah. Did she have a wedding dress? She, has, she was wearing her wedding dress Is that now. the one? Yeah. And is that... Could you explain it to us or describe it um, to us? It was actually made by the people that um, did Beverly Hills Chihuahua. They shipped it over from America for her special day. Um, and then it was encrusted with quite a few thousand crystals, Shirovsky crystals. Really? Yes. Can I, is it, can I ask you how much the dress cost? Or? Um, she had leg cuffs and... That's for later. <laughs> <laughs> she has jewellery as well and matching tiara. It was, it was just under £1,000. £1,000 sterling for the dress? Yeah. OK. And then, of course, you'd have to have... Um, Things like a photographer. And we did have a photographer, yes. So the wedding, as I said before, it comes up to about twenty thousand. Yeah, about. yeah, just over. Okay, a lot of money to be to be spending on um, on a dog wedding. Uh huh. And did you have any qualms about that? Did you? Um, I kind of think that she, because she's given me so much in my life, she's she's actually given me the life that I have now. Um, it was my way of really thanking her. And dogs are very very special creatures, so. People can spend £20,000 on a car and not blink an eyelid at it. For me, it was really just about having the unconditional love from Lola and giving her something back. OK. Do you have a partner? Can I ask you? Are you... Do I have a partner? Yeah. Why? Just curious. Why? No, I'm just asking. No, no, I'm just wondering. <laughs> no, kidding. Um, Thanks. <laughs> that wasn't awkward. Um, uh, yeah, kind of, yeah. Kind of. All right, we'll leave that open. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, so if... if, if if you were to get married and have children, do you think that Lola would be put in a, a kennel or...? No. No. Is it Lola over anyone else? No, it's Lola alongside people. Um, she just doesn't take... You know, she doesn't take a different position. She's always with them, alongside them. OK. Um, what has been the most common response to your wedding, to the, the dog wedding? What are, what are people most? Is it one of... Is, are they flabbergasted? Are they delighted for the happy couple? Are they... You know, where, where does... What, what's the...? I think they think I'm bonkers. Now... <laughs> that's, that's a really honest answer. What, what do you think? I mean... Uh, but, but you not think, like, Louise is very, she's very, you're obviously, you're, you're compass mentis, thank goodness. But, you're, <laughs> but you're, you know, you're, you're not bonkers. No, not at all, no. But this is ridiculous, uh, in, a, in a sort of... <laughs> it, 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 you know, some people do think that, but um, for me, it really, really, I mean, honestly, I've, I've completely changed my world because of one little dog, and... Um, I know. Yeah, I have completely changed my career, I've moved where I live, um, and I'm so, so happy now that... You know, it's just my way of giving her a big special party and really just celebrating okay. her. You really love that dog, I don't you? I love my dog, You're yeah. crazy about the dog. Well, yeah. OK, how's Mugly? He's all right. Is he? Yeah. Now, thank you. Will you stay where you are? Because we're yeah, going to introduce definitely. some other dog. You're going to have, you're going to have a real treat now, Louise. So, OK. Yeah, stay where. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is not just a British film like Louise here. It, it's, uh, it's happening here in Ireland. We have some very pampered pooches in this lovely country of ours. Would you like to meet some of them? Would you like to meet some of them? Yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, our first... 
This is Felicity and her daughter Becky with Daisy and Zoe. Come forward, let's have a look at you. Hi. Hi, how are you both? Now, Felicity, welcome. Thank you. And you used to be a teacher, isn't that right? That's correct. Tell us about the dogs, what, what sort of dogs they are and why this they're wearing what they're wearing. Daisy, she's a Bichon Free. And this is Zoe, she is uh, a Yorkie. And uh, they have a selection of outfits, but this is what they chose to wear tonight. Okay, they chose? No. No. Uh, so what are we, she's dressed up as a ladybird. She's a ladybird, yeah. Okay, she's and not comfortable just being a dog. Oh, she is. She loves the, she loves the attention. And what about you? What's your little dog dressed up as fairy um, princess? Some you? sort of fairy. <laughs> and did you give up your job as a teacher to, to spend time with dogs? Or? Absolutely, yeah. Why? Um, I just, I was looking to change career and uh, I wanted to work with animals and dogs and I met somebody who was a groomer and decided it was something I'd like to do. And it's going well for you enjoying yeah, it? You saw so your dog, your, it's a dog grooming parlour you're running now. Absolutely. Okay, yeah. and do you get lots of wonderful demands or is it all very straightforward? Um, just very straightforward, yeah, I don't really get anything. Is it big business? It's, yeah, very busy, it's great. People are willing to spend a lot of money on their dogs and everything like that? Well, it's a necessity really. It's not just making their dogs beautiful, it's for health reasons as well. And no slowdown in business, no. despite everything, the dogs and the show must go on. Okay, yeah. you stay, you, you come, come, come this way behind me because I'm going to introduce some more people. Would you please welcome Stella with her red-haired poodle called Geneva. Hi Stella. Nice to see you. We're over there. No, I'm over here. No, fine. Welcome. T describe uh, Geneva for me. Well, Geneva's beautiful, isn't he? Oh, absolutely. So you describe him. Well, he's a little brown poodle <laughs> who seems to be wearing a... Uh, well, everywhere I look, he goes somewhere else. OK. Uh, I have this effect. Um, OK, and he's got a tiny little face that looks like absolutely. a little winchy head in him. Beautiful. And um, he is your dog wearing... What sort of a cravat is he wearing? Chanel. Chanel. And how much would that cost us for... Well, I don't think you want to know, do you? Yeah, of course I do. 300 euro. For a cravat? Absolutely. Now, some people will be saying that... Um, that's no, a I'd buy anything for him. If he could drive a, a car, I'd buy him a Ferrari. <laughs> so where'd you go from there? <laughs> For the love of God. Absolutely. I really didn't think my day could get any more well, strange. Well, you got but everything. What is it about the, the dog that makes you so committed to his love happiness? Him. I love all dogs. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Actually, I love animals more than I like people. Well, then I'll let you go. So I go. Thanks a million. <laughs> got it there. Tanya's here with her sister Trudy, and with them is Tanya's dog Sadie and two of her Persian cats. Yeah, just hold it when the music goes on. Oh. Hi. How, are, how are you? Where's the cat? Oh, Jesus, that's not the... This is a cat! <laughs> that's so much. Look, brilliant. It's like the Muppet Show. <laughs> <laughs> That's tremendous. This is Stanley. 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 It's Lola. Oh, Lola, look and at that. Sadie. And this is Sadie. Ah, yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> great. Is Sadie clean? That's, that's not Sadie's a whole lot of. clean and she's well oh, behaved. Yeah, she's I don't got her hairs and God knows what else. Okay. Uh, how many animals have you got? I've got three cats, um, all from the DSPCA. Oh, well done. And I've got three dogs. Um, one of which is a rescue as well. So you like Noah's Ark, really? It's kind of. The partridge and the pear tree is coming at Christmas time. I was time. just going to ask you. I mean, but this, this cat looks like... Um, it was just the most interesting oh, face. It looks like Winston Churchill dressed up as a drag queen or something. Yeah, like. he's kind of... Uh, yeah, he's he, doing the whole line look. Is he, um, is, he, <laughs> is, he, is, he, is he very high maintenance, the cat? Um, no, I have to say, they're very kind of laid-back kind of cats, but yeah. yes, they take a lot of brushing. OK, and how about our friend here? Sadie is a Tibetan Terrier. She would take probably three... Every three months, she has to go to the groomers. Yeah. Um, she pretends she's not high-maintenance, but she's a very high-maintenance But, but so. behind it all, she needs oh, all yeah. your love and attention. Oh, definitely. Is it expensive, the upkeep of all this? Um, not as expensive as people would think. Um, I do get her done a lot, <laughs> yeah. but it saves me a lot on vet bills. OK. You, you're, you're obviously a very stylish lady. Well, um, no, you are. I can see that looking everywhere. at you. But is the cat hair an issue for you? I mean, do you, do you ever um, get a fur ball in the middle of the night? I would never wear black. <laughs> if an, um, ever wear black, usually. Yes. Because this is what happens. That's what we're worried about. But, um, is, no, that, is the house quite hairy? Nope. Nothing? Nope. No, because uh, 
not a lot of hair comes off. A lot of hair comes sorry, off. Sorry, somebody's trying to get his <laughs> arse in the picture here. It's another, sorry, uh, um, so not a lot of hair comes off. A lot of hair off. comes off when they're stressed. I was pretty, uh, pretty stressed. So they're now. stressed out. Yeah. Okay. But, um, besides, yeah, I know, it's going to be all over you. Yeah, so I got it. Well, it's, it's okay. It's not nice nearly at an end. Um, so, uh, okay, well, I'll let you join our other friends. Thank you. And thank you for she joining may us. Not walk. Well, let's see Welcome how she goes. Virgo. Go drag her. Drag her. <laughs> Go on, drag her. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. That's <all. laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Anne Collins, Anne Collins, you are so, you are great. I am so glad you're here. <laughs> Anne Collins that. is a canine beautician and she has India and Coco Bell. Of course she has. <laughs> Stand. No, no. No, 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 there's no. No laughing. No, no. That's the better side, obviously. <laughs> um, better than her bum. Well, indeed. So describe this. It seems to have a tattoo or something on it. She's just a stencil. It's a stencil it's of, a, a of a love heart. Yeah, it's just something quick if you want to put on something different. Valentine's Day, you can put on... So would you, do you have seasonal prints you'd put on her? Yeah, you just put them on freehand. And would you do a Christmas tree for Christmas or an I've egg I've done Easter? Christmas trees on Bichons and poodles, and right. I've done green, white and orange Paddy's Day. And the every time. And yeah. <laughs> and is, is, uh, is, is this a high maintenance style? This looks like a lot of work. This because is high maintenance. You've got the tail yeah. has been sh shaved, is that right? Or? Yeah, and, and, her, then... and her face and her feet and her tail. Okay, so, so really, does she, she must have spent quite, quite a lot of time up in hair and makeup, did she? Every week. Every week. Every and how about our little friend here? This is Coco Bell. Oh, hang on, that looks like a, a little panda. She's a little panda at the moment. Her... So what colour is she in her natural state? White. So why is she all black? Why not? Did you paint her? <laughs> Good afternoon. You've painted her to be like a little panda. Yes, on short notice. Do you want a panda? Ah, yeah, why not? She has been a leprechaun and she's been a dragon, so why not a panda? <laughs> that's, well, I mean, if that's what gets you through the night, I mean, that's, yeah. isn't that the thing? Yes, yeah, And what fun. do people think of, of all this? I colour my hair. I know, yeah, I know, absolutely, but Sorry. you're not a dog, with respect. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so, well, so, no, no, you're, you're a very handsome lady. Um, so, so do, do you think the dogs are into it? Do you think they get the the grooming element of it, do you think they love all the fuss? Yes, well, they need to be groomed for health reasons. Yes. I mean, a lot of people don't realise, they think grooming, OK, just groom your dog. Right? Yes. But there's things like they have lumps and bumps that you don't see, they can have ear problems, they have ingrown nails, they have glands that need to be... I understand. Uh, we have a picture of... Um, of uh, don't, can we show the picture of... The, that's, is that your dog? That's another. I think no, that that's another panda. And we have another dog that's been painted as well, because this is quite a phenomenon, it's the, the tiger dog. Yeah. Uh, some people are in that. There is, there is, a, there will be people watching tonight who say, you know, in, given particularly given the economic times and all the rest of it, like that, that, ah, um, that uh, <laughs> it's a bit crazy that people spend so much money on their dog. Uh, what do you, what's your response to, to, to people who think it's it's much cheaper than a Ferrari? But, but Ferraris aside, you know, people who are driving a no, they're Ferrari. they're they're loving, they're kind, they're See, always there for you. Because Doesn't everyone matter. here, all lovely people, all just. Mad about their dogs and yeah. cats, and, and, and will go to any length whatsoever. Yeah, to... they're fine. They don't need coffee in the morning. They don't mind if you're in a bad year where they don't care if you look like a nightmare. They're always there for you. They're always in good form. I can't, I can't argue with you. No, you can't. I like what you just said there. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, our wonderful friends with their animals. <laughs> what do you think, Louise? Oh, you've got to get a shot of this. Oh, my God. <laughs> Come on, Coco Bell. Come on. OK. <laughs> OK. <laughs> it's like the abominable snowman just walked out. What, what do you think? Do you think people are going to be um, uh, happy with, with, with this? Is it... Is... Is, is I think it's fa fantastic. I think there's so much, you know, nastiness in the world today and, and really sad and unhappy stories that, you know, maybe we should just lighten up a little bit and have a bit of fun and, and love our animals and fellow man. I, 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 think, I see uh, Lola has chilled the hell out now, so yeah. she's relaxed. Louise, lovely to meet you. Thanks for coming Thank in you. to see us. Louise Harris and Lola. Thank you. Thank you both.